Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to Test 2 Plus today for episode 4 of 5 on stereotypes. We're almost there. So far we've talked about how stereotypes came to be, why they stick around, whether or not the media is reinforcing them or we're creating them, and also stereotypes might be bad, but they also might be good, and that's what we're talking about today. So how can stereotypes benefit us? I know what you're thinking. Like, there are positive stereotypes. Black guys, more athletic. Gay people dress really well and are good at home design. Jews are good with money and, you know, run everything. Russians can drink you under the table. Does this put social pressure on these people to fulfill these stereotypes? Absolutely it does. And actually, all of those things are pretty damn ignorant. So let's look at the science. Stereotyping is an ingrained function in our brain. It frees up processing power for us to do other things. We are bombarded with so much data throughout the day that if every time we saw a new tree, we looked at it as if we'd never seen a tree before, it wouldn't work very well. So stereotypes are a way to say, oh, that's a tree. I already know what trees are. I don't have to go and investigate it. According to Dr. Pamela Rutledge, director of the Media Psychology Research Center, Stereotyping is a way of processing information. It's a way to take something that's not familiar and put it in your brain next to something that makes sense. So is it wrong for a person to be more inclined to take one ride-sharing app-based car service over another ride-sharing car app service? You know, there are articles that have come out that say that car service A has drivers that are bad, that are dangerous. Car service B doesn't have that. So do we stereotype against all car service A people? Of course we don't, and we shouldn't. You are probably thinking that exact thing, right? But at the same time, we do that. A lot of people say, I'm not gonna take that car service anymore because of a few bad apples. Now, this sounds bad again, because there are bad elements, but there are also benefits. There are reasons to be on alert, and these articles that came out to talk about how certain car sharing services had dangerous drivers will make people be more safe when they do take those car services. So that's beneficial. It wasn't a stereotype that they reported the news. The stereotypes come when we start making decisions based on that rather than reality. To keep ourselves a little more politically correct, we do sometimes actively go against our nature to stereotype. And you know, most of the time that's a good thing because let's be real, people shouldn't be pigeonholed based on our preconceived generic stereotype notions that we've created. So let me put it this way. If you found yourself walking through a neighborhood and your past, your stereotypes that you've created made you feel like this neighborhood was dangerous, made you uncomfortable, so therefore you went on alert, that stereotype might be beneficial, especially if it turns out to be true. It could also be offensive to the people who live there, but that's a risk that you might be willing to take. Stereotypes are part of us because they've helped us survive this long. It's a little more tenuous when you talk about modern society. And as we mentioned earlier, we're not necessarily talking about the stereotypes of a certain part of the forest or a certain sound that you might hear. We're talking about profiling people and that's not necessarily good. But based on your experiences, your stereotypes inform your life. There's a quote from a psychologist, a winner of the 2002 Nobel Prize in Economics. His name's Daniel Kahneman. And uh, he said, resistance to stereotyping is a laudable moral position. But the simplistic idea that the resistance is costless is wrong. The costs are worth paying to achieve a better society. But denying that the cost exists while satisfying the soul and politically correct is not scientifically desirable. So let me break that down for you because it's kind of complicated. But basically what Kahneman is saying is that it's great, it feels really good to say, I resist stereotypes. However, there are times when a stereotype might save your life, might help you navigate a difficult social situation, might help you answer a question that you wouldn't have answered otherwise, and political correctness for the sake of it isn't always good, but it can be beneficial. And it feels great and it is great to say and try to not have those stereotypes. We talked a lot in this episode about whether stereotypes are good or bad for you. What do you think? 
Tell us in the comments. And also, make sure to tell us if we've been kind of offensive, because there are chances are some of you might not like what we're saying about stereotypes, and your opinion is important too. That's why we have comment sections, and I get down there and I talk to you about it sometimes as well. So make sure you get in there. Also, make sure you subscribe to Test Tube Plus so that you get all of our episodes every day of the week. If you haven't seen all of the episodes in this series on stereotypes, go back to the beginning. Watch all four of them so far up to today. And tomorrow, we'll come back for episode five, and we're going to talk about whether stereotypes can be dangerous. It's going to be good. Thanks for watching. I'm Trace, and we'll see you tomorrow on Test Tube Plus.